I think the only question about the Celtic uh, team selection at the moment is how long do we keep Nakamura on the field for? Well, I think they admitted he's not yet fully match sharp, although he's had a very influential game today, so it may well be he misses out in the last quarter, something like that. That's a possibility. Here's Miller. Well tackled by McManus. Kept his balance very well. Celtic, without being phenomenally brilliant, did the job. And of course, if you've got a player like uh, John Hartson, who even if uh, a team is looking stale, can score goals like that, really out of nothing. A one and one which should have been defended better, and he takes advantage of it, puts his club uh, one up. It's a great asset to have in your side. Duff to Bredbow. Well, that's a decent ball, it's a good save. McIntyre made a very good run indeed there, superb ball put forward by Bredbow, and that caught out the Celtic defence. But a very good save indeed by Artur Boric. Got in well there, got behind it. One of uh, the New United's better moves. There's the ball played in there. Now that was a difficult one to turn round, admittedly, by McIntyre, but good goalkeeping. Making sure he was uh, out narrowing the angle, if nothing else. and back at defence that time. Here's Duff. Tamara slightly hesitating when he went for that. Good interception. McManus has played very steadily. Read the game very well. Quick on his feet. United have made a pretty sparkling start to this half. And Robson, who sustained that injury earlier on in the match, and I, I thought he wasn't just as influential as he ought to have been, is now coming off, being replaced by Colin Samuel. That's a blow. Robson is is a very good player because his, his play is so very good with the, the, the dead ball. Swift can come in from any angle. Samuel, straightforward runner, although he has scored some uh, very useful goals for United in his day. Well played by Lennon, now Petrov. Telfer trying to get back up. Hesitated a, a trifle too long, I think. long hard season for all the clubs of course and a, a player like uh, Petrov because he was so influential for Celtic last season Zaraski trying to go after that and it means expending a lot of energy Telfer Well, they're just putting it anywhere. At the back, Archibald. Neil Lennon mopping that up well. Telfa watching it carefully. Brebner couldn't get hold of it. Well, everything Nakamura has done today has been incisive and neat. And the Celtic supporters already appreciating his influence. Oh, just taken away there by McCracken. Very close. Zorowski was after that. Good play by Lennon. Sometimes evades tackles like that by centimeters. Telfo's taken up a very good position. 
still they're not really troubled all that much for that. And another very poor ball played forward. He did that in the first half as well. That's no good. Yes, Arton. There's Baldi anticipating that well. A little bit of dissension between Brebner and De Miller about that play. Frankly, I think it was Brebner's fault. Nakamura. That's very neat. Good play. And uh, he couldn't keep it in Hudson. Well, the Japanese international showing not only vision, but that agility he has in a very tight space. So I think have signed themselves a very good player and uh, obviously got uh, a new supporters club from downtown Yokohama or wherever. Telfer. I thought he was going to let fly himself, Delfa, and they get the corner kick, yes, they had to go for that. I think uh, still he was in two minds as to whether to come for that, but uh, the defender got there, McCracken. in the air post, well defended, and uh, still a difficult ball for him to take, one of these balls that uh, come hard off the surface, going up towards the crossbar, down it went, and he did well to get behind it at all. Again, going towards a near post off the bar and just passed. Hartson holds his head in his hands. Cannot believe it stayed out. And as I pointed out before, there's the header. Celtic are so superior in the air to so many clubs. There's always danger from a ball like that with a man like that at the other end of it. Billy hesitating. Here's Petrov. Telfer. Hartson off the bar. I think he's claiming that ball may have gone over the line. Tremendous in the air again. He got up very well. Only one thing in mind to put it into the back of the net defied by the crossbar again down it came and for a moment I thought he felt it had gone over twice in 30 seconds hitting the crossbar there goes Samuel now he's got a bit of pace Laid off there, Zaraski tried to go in, and that's a free kick. Quickly taken, and uh, the ball was moving there as he took the free kick. Not to be taken again, the ball has to be stationary. going on there Samuel trying to get after it Akimura that was good play again got out of a tight situation he's been in so many of them this afternoon and it's always worked out to his uh, side's favor the way he can wriggle maneuver and see players in an open space
Just in play. Miller. And McManus does the simple but effective thing. I think about Miller when he gets the ball even with opponents very near to him and, and his back to goal, he can shield the ball and then get clear. Wilson. And again. Thompson can't get hold of it. Valdi away. Here's the break. Petrov is giving him support. There he is. Back to Telfer. Oh, he's slightly hesitated. They've lost the momentum. Back to midfield it goes. Good running by Serving at the moment. Good movement. That might be a corner kick, uh, and it is again, and obviously more pressure on a defence that's looking increasingly straight. Once again on that far side, McManus is up to join the pack. Well, Baldi did get it, not cleanly enough. It was well attended there. Well, still he is having uh, a very nervous game in, in, in clearing his lines. Here's Brebner. Long and high, it's a useful one. Good clearance by McManus again, all the same. He had to get that cleanly, and he did. Oh, not the best ball. Good clearance by Baldi again. Duff. Miller lays it off. Still not clear. Baldi goes in. Miller's brought down. And the referee is going to have a look at him. The play has stopped. And Ian Bryan's hesitated for a moment and uh, now he was late going down nothing wrong with that I think I think it's something there might have been a contact and just passing him there Here's a challenge. Well, it was something on the blind side of us. But uh, there was a delayed reaction and the way he went down. No penalty. McManus, Nakamura, no free kick there, Brebner plays it out to Samuel, one down the edge, McManus has been very focused, look at the way he went for that ball, concentrating right in the middle of the Celtic defence, and once again opened up beautifully by the Japanese player. Now Telfer, good run into the box, it could be put back towards Thompson, and almost was. Miller. 
Well, Miller is a, a, a very slippery customer, and I mean that in the best sense of the word, but uh, Mac, uh, McManus has stuck to it, his stats very well, kept very close to him. wasn't a bad idea either. McIntyre actually ran the wrong way for that. I haven't seen much of the Kamara coming forward in this half. Zorowski is after it and... Uh, <laughs> I think he learned his lesson there of cracking from that uh, opening Celtic goal because he played it simply out of play. Just keeping it in. Zaraski, brilliant play by Nakamura, free kick. That's the sort of thing we've seen uh, Stan Petrov doing. Ball through the legs. Immaculate touch, good timing, watch it again. For the connoisseur. The way he went, and uh, not quite sure why United defenders were complaining about that. Indeed, there's a yellow card from McCracken. Uh, Nakamura is in the middle of that uh, group of Celtic players uh, contemplating this. Uh, but I think Petrov might be wanting to take a dab at it. There's also Thompson on the back Nakamura brilliantly saved that time by Stilly well they say he has uh, some language difficulties but I think they made it perfectly clear who had to take that and the Parkhead crowd including his own countrymen rising to that effort superb save beautiful club free kick and there was a push forward by Hartson, still 1-0. Zorowski goes off, Sean Maloney comes off. Uh, this young man has played splendidly for uh, Celtic in the games I've seen so far this season. I was a wee bit surprised he didn't get a starting place the other night against uh, Bratislava. But, uh, of course, it's always easy to be wise after the event, but uh, his pace had bothered uh, the slowbacks. And there's a yellow card for Petrov. Still arguing with the referee. Free kick to United. 20 minutes of the second half gone. Still 1 0. Boric has had uh, precious little to do. One very good save from McIntyre. Good alert goalkeeping. Pro 
Beautiful ball there by Duff, giving possession away so easily. You can't do that at Celtic Park. Life is hard enough for visiting teams. You don't present them with gifts. <laughs> One of the quickest players in the business, of course, Maloney. Aberdeen desperately wanted him. Started off his career from up there, and uh, of course, his renaissance, if you like, having had that serious injury, has kept him at Celtic Park. That's right, play by United again, and there's a, a late tackle there on Samuel. We kick to United. Wilson to take. Mark Wilson started off his career as Scotland's under 14 captain. Easily cleared. Maloney was back there. Falls to Brevna, though. Got to try and float it in again, and he does. Baldi is up. Just gobbles that kind of uh, ball in the air. Now Kamara. Here's a counter attack. Now played by Lennon again. Sorted out of midfield so easily. Telfer. Thompson. Well, Celtic, the, the superior side, there's no question at all about that, but only one goal in it. That's the point. Desperately seeking the second to give themselves that little bit of uh, space. That's a decent ball again. Getting into all kinds of useful positions. Miller, he's got no support, he's all on his own. As the referee rightly telling him to get back on his feet, that was good defending again by McManus now Kamara support work again by Lennon here's Thompson forced into doing that back into the centre circle that's an immaculate ball by Thompson a little bit of jiggling going on there feels for a penalty there as Hartson went down It all ends in an anti-climax because I think the flag went up on the other side after Hudson had gone down offside. Baldi, right up there. Into Samuel. Here's Kerr. I don't know why Crawford gave up on that. We kick there, Akimura goes down, and Brebner complaining about that. The referee having nothing to do with the complaints. Free kick Celtic. We are halfway through the second half. Beautiful ball by Thompson. Won't be saved by Stilly, another corner kick. Surely a corner. Yes, it is. They're all crowding into the box again, and uh, the United have just survived. Six torrid corner kicks in this half. This is a different one, Nakamura picking up. Doesn't get away with that. Well, it, Kamara coming in. That's nicely flighted. Thompson will try to get this to his left-hand side. He does. Drives it in and 
Duff is there. Still not cleared though. Samuel comes away. Awkward one for him, but he retains possession. Good play by Wilson. Really quality pull back, Grebner. Um, that was Kerry gave that away. And onside again. Lisbon on the far side is uh, not terribly popular with the uh, standites. But the flag was up very quickly. Came off uh, Kamara, Samuel. Played off nicely, Brebner's there, Miller is there. Oh, and that's almost fumbled. Stevie Crawford ought to have done better than that. He had time to control that, going near a goal. He took it first time. You have to put that down as a miss. You certainly do against a team that's been on the back foot all the time. Hardly had a chance at goal. And Stevie Crawford didn't do at all well with it. Yeah. Again, he's you know he's full of little touches and twirls. The spectators love to see that kind of football. Is Maloney going to try and cut one in? There was a deflection as well. Corner kick. And Nakamura about to take a standing ovation for him as he goes over to the corner. Swills it well, and Stilly is there. The D-United had everybody back in the box. Right through the middle, Kamara. Miller gave up on the chase. That should go all the way through to the keeper. Glorious day for football. Beautifully sunny, there's no movement in midfield by United there. That's a decent ball, just uh, picked up, hooked away. Miller, chase there, just gone away there by Kamara. Petrol, it's not quite his uh, second half, and of course he's been booked. Here's Maloney, good linking there, Nakamura. Almost gets in there, that's a side net. And that's how elusive and dangerous this man is going to be. They weren't quite sure which way he was going to turn. One way, then the other. He's evasive. And his final shot, just a bit too narrow for him. That's a bad clearance. Well, Stevie Crawford, I don't think, was going to particularly... Productive game, Brebner. 
There's Maloney going, great play by Maloney. Look at the speed of the youngster. Tries a shot and just passed. Well, he's uh, quite simply an aggressive player who has root one in his mind, and that's what it was there. Although a very difficult angle, he, really it's the only thing he could do, he couldn't let off all that effectively. Here's Miller. Red looking off, Samuel. Still there, Samuel. And that's a very poor finishing ball by Samuel. Lacking in conviction, so many teams come to Celtic Park and to Ibrooks, and they get little positions like that, and the nerve goes, as it so manifestly did there, with 14 minutes of the game left. The referee ignoring his complaints about the challenge. Here's Miller. McIntyre was coming up inside him, hoping for a little touchdown. It was always potentially there. That's free kick. Petro's got to watch himself. Play by United. Is McIntyre? I think Bradner wanted that ball played inside him. Nakamura, good position for him. Played that off well again. His passing has been so accurate. Up comes Kamara. Well, there's the header. There was no cover. And Duff was pointing to Maloney and saying who was supposed to be there to take him. Watch it. And Duff astonished himself, I think, that uh, Maloney missed that. Samuel tries to get on the outside. That's a good tackle by Kamara. He was almost taken there. Villa. Samuel beautifully cleared by Petro that is the total footballer about him he's there, he's everywhere and up he comes in the counter-attack as Maloney picks this up there he is, Petro hooked away by McCracken Petro saving a shot at one end and then advancing into the penalty box at the other. And that just passed again. What an impact the wee fella has made on this game. Sheer pace and aggression. Just lacking that little bit of accuracy. Wilson. Quite sure what to do it, Samuel. Absolutely no chance of getting hold of that one. Brebner. Crawford. 
Duff coming out. Crawford inside. He's given the ball away so often, uh, Stevie Crawford, in this match. Here's Maloney. Nakamura had made a runaway on the left hand side. Lennon. Kelpo gives, uh, gives a little bit of support. Nakamura, he's wandered in from both sides in this game. Uh, what tricks can he come up with? There's a little chip! Almost came off. And United are now giving the ball away far too easily. I think they may suffer as a result. Still only one goal in it though. Thompson. The John Hartson turns well on it. Plays it across to Maloney. Couldn't get the shot in. Now Petrov. Thompson tries a little chip and won't make it. I think Petrov wanted that ball played back to him and uh, made his displeasure very clear there. Miller. Samuel operating on his far side. Now Wilson. Aldi just getting in on it. Here's Samuel. Once again, his uh, service from the right-hand side is very inept. Yeah. There goes McCracken. That's a decent ball to Maloney, he's onside. Kamara goes with him. Samuel once again into the box. Stevie Crawford with it. Can't get a shot in. There's nowhere to turn in actual fact. But Steve Lennon is out with it though. Played wide. Samuel. Bit of pressure here this time and Samuel straightforwardly against an opponent. Samuel again. We're trying to go to the far side and Kamara gets in there. And we're having uh, Craig Beatty come on now, who's been very useful coming on late in the game for Celtic on several occasions. And off goes Nakamura, who has had. An extremely satisfying debut here in front. I want to be a very critical crowd. They loved it. Stevie Crawford being forced away out wide again, and he gets a corner kick. Corner kick with five minutes of the game remaining. Only the one goal in it and away by Lennon. And out of play. Picked up by Duff. And some Celtic legs might be tiring. I said at the start they could be affected by that arduous task that lay in front of them on Tuesday night, which they dealt with splendidly but took out a lot out of themselves and uh, here's Hartson that 
was accidental, no handball, PT. He wanted to charge forward there. He does now. That'll be a corner kick, I think. Yes, he'll settle for that. And in the last five minutes of the game, uh, a goal now at that end, and it would certainly be all over. Celtic leaving simply Kamara at the back. Maloney himself taking this. It's a decent ball in, nobody challenging for that. Lennon, I thought he might have shot again, he had a brilliant shot. In the first half, of course. Wilson. Once again, missed by Crawford. Telford. Held on to that very well, actually, until uh, BT made the run. Trying to get a corner out of this. Didn't quite come off. Oh, that was panicking. I think he's claiming somebody should have shouted at him. Three minutes left. again still has it but he tenacious cleared that he want to let fly well, that's a beautiful ball what a goal beat it that does it if ever there was a killing blow that was it done in the most spectacular way and two young scottish players together the manufacturer there he is, Maloney, and look at this explosive finish. Ah, you can get to the market and spend a lot of money on great strikers, but they wouldn't be able to score any better goals than that. I don't wonder they're delighted. Well, it certainly does, but I think that might go down as uh, one of the goals of the season. Certainly, if there's a better goal than that in the month of August, it'll have to be something very special. Here's Samuel. Just gets himself in a factor with, I make it a minute left. Better play by Duff that time. Good run this time by McIntyre. He's on his own though. A little bit of support right there. They don't know what to do with it though. They haven't got that final pass and dithering. That time by Mark Kerr. Just ran out of ideas. Play to him, uh, Petrov. Again, showing a little touch of indignation that the ball wasn't played through to him quickly enough. Three minutes of time added on. 
Preston Celtic could score again at will. That's good play. There goes Kip. You can see that mean the indecision in some of the, the midfield play by the D United and run about the balls here by the likes. Stevie Crawford, look at that. Lennon coming away. PT. Excellent tackling by Wilson again. If you look back on uh, this game, and the, the tide was really changed, if you like, by that Hudson goal. It was fairly bland up till then. It looked as if it might be an innocuous end to that first half, and then typical contribution by Hudson. Played that well enough, Samuel. Oh, poor effort again. McIntyre, one footed by the way the ball came to him. <laughs> Celtic will be a very contented team that this, uh, they've got this game, the first Premier Division win. Out of the way, they needed that. They've had a torrid time of it. Masses of criticism. Almost get back into Europe. Clearly, it hasn't affected the spirit. I think the final whistle could go any second. Celtic quite content to hold it down there. And indeed, the final whistle has gone. Comforting win for Celtic after, as I said, a very tempestuous period for them to come through the criticism and clearly and easily won this game. And like you saw in the Scottish Premier League this afternoon, in this Caledonian Thistleville Rangers 1, Aberdeen 1, come up to Motherwell Bell and Fairland Bell. So as the Japanese spectators look on, there's no doubt the star of the afternoon was Shunsuke Nakamura. But there, Craig Beatty, you could not get a Scottish youngster score as good a goal as that. And really that indicates the potential that Celtic have in the youth ranks. And now an accomplished senior player. Final score, Celtic 2, Dundee United 0.